Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I did the teeniest acrylic nail set on my 13 year old daughter. And it is just some pretty pink glitter and encapsulated flowers. All right, so these are her natural nails and I'm just gently pushing back her cuticles. And I'm also gonna use the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to clean underneath her nails. This cuticle pusher um, came in the Alpha brush set and I really like the shape of it. It really helps get right up to that cuticle and help push it back and you know get all that, that dead skin on the nail plate. So this is my daughter's first acrylic nail set and I just wanted to see if I could go ahead and do some tiny nails, you know. <laughs> She's 13 but she has like baby hands so her nails are so, so tiny. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep these pretty short because she is a violinist. She is in her school orchestra and she needs her nails short so she can continue to play. Um, so after pushing back the cuticles, I am using this cuticle clean bit from Todak USA and I am working that around her cuticle area to get all of that dead skin on the nail plate and just to make everything nice and smooth. This footage is sped up, but I assure you I am being very gentle. Next, I'm going in with Nail Nails Dehydrator and I'm just applying this to all of her nails. Next, I'm going in with No Lift Nails Primer and I am just using a tiny bit of this. All right, so now I'll be applying Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and I'm using my number eight alpha brush and this is her teeny weeny pinky fingernail. <laughs> so um, this nail was a tad bit difficult because I've never worked with a nail this small, um, but I just worked with a medium sized bead of the clear and I'm just using that to spread and work it about the nail. Um, because this is going to be a natural acrylic overlay, I don't want this nail to be bulky at all, but at the same time, I do want it to have um, strength to it. So I'm just being very, very careful um, just to make it as smooth as possible and just, you know, as thin as possible. For her ring fingernail, I'm putting down a very thin layer of clear acrylic and then I wait for that to set just a tiny bit. And then I'm going in with some nail glue and then I apply the dried flower and I um, just make sure that I apply enough glue that all of the petals are laying flat. And I just use the end of my brush to push down the flower. And I got these dried flowers from Gear Best. I will leave a link down below. So once the flower is in place, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this pink glitter and just kind of put that on the side of the flower, kind of wrapping around it a little bit. Once all the glitter is in place, I'm just gonna take tiny beads of clear acrylic and encapsulate this nail. So this nail is pretty tricky uh, because we wanna keep these nails thin. You know, you have to keep that in mind when you're applying the clear, but you also wanna make sure that you are fully encapsulating the flower and the glitter. Um, so I just found that it was easier to work in small beads of clear um, and then just build the nail up from there.
And for the middle nail, I'm just applying clear acrylic. I'm sorry about the blurriness. Um, this is my first time doing, you know, someone else's nails with my camera set up and it is a very small space to work in. So yeah, we just kind of made it work, but it'll get better when I move to the next nail. All right, and for her index fingernail, I'm just applying a thin layer of clear and I'm just gonna pack on this pink glitter to the entire nail. To pick up the glitter, I'm just picking up the tiniest amount of the clear acrylic and I'm dipping that into the pink glitter and that is how I'm picking that up. And I'm just making sure to keep that glitter layer as thin as possible. And once it is applied to my liking, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate this nail. And for her thumb, we're just gonna do a clear overlay on this one as well. All right, so this is after all of the acrylic is laid and set. So I'm just going to do my shaping and filing. And this was a challenge in itself because her nails are so tiny. <laughs> I had to make sure that I wasn't scratching up her actual skin. So it was a little difficult and I had to work slow and kind of just take my time to make sure that, you know, I was keeping my baby safe. So then I decided to put her hand onto the nail dust collector and it was um, perfect because she was able to rest her hand on the um, arm stand. And I just kinda, you know, took my hand file and smoothed out the top. But because I did apply the acrylic so carefully, I didn't have to do too much filing and shaping. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And I'm going in with this Madame Glam Diamond Gel and it is so pretty. This color is called Barbie Bliss. And I'm using my Alpha Detail Brush and I'm just going to paint the teeniest uh, French tip onto her nails. Um, but yeah, this Madame Glam gel polish is so pigmented. It is so pretty. As you can see, um, just the stripe across of it, it just gives off the perfect amount of color and glitter. It is just so pretty.
So I cured that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm applying the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And this is when it all comes to life. And because her nails are so small, you know, the gel polish did kind of go everywhere. But I made sure to clean that up around the cuticle area and the side walls before we cured. Oh, I just love the all glitter nail. It is so pretty. All right, and before carrying, I just put some iridescent crystals on her ring fingernail. So I cured in my LED lamp for 60 seconds, and then I apply cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. This is just a very cute, tiny, teeny acrylic nail set. I love the pink glitter combo and the encapsulated flower. It is just so cute. And I really enjoyed doing these nails for my baby. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcarepretynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.